And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Melody. I'm Amy. And today we're talking about Super Rhino. Ta-da! Although in America, this is going to be called um, Rhino Hero. Um, so this is a game in which there's a rhinoceros who's a superhero who is moving up a building rescuing people. That makes sense, right? Right? This is actually a dexterity game. You're going to stack a big tower out of the stuff in this box. Is that even possible? The game begins with a base. You have the superhero rhino, a bunch of wall cards. These are inside and outside walls, and you can see that you, you can bend them all to get them in place and a pile of roof cards. Everyone is gonna get five of these dealt to them, seven in a two-player game, and then one player is chosen to go first. Now when it's your turn, you're gonna look at the floor you're building on, and you're going to put walls in the spots that it shows you. So here you'd put two walls. You then will play a card from your hand on top of those walls, and the card shows you how the next walls are going to be placed for the next player. So the next player would have to um, put their cards like that, and then they would put a four on top of that, and you go on like this. This one you can see, the walls are like this. And then this one has only one wall on it. Getting a little high here, everybody. Now, when you play these floors on top, floors may have a special thing on them which causes something to happen. This floor here with the blue exclamation point skips the next person's turn. This floor here means that person has to draw a card. This floor here means they need to move the super rhino and put him on that floor. Now that's dangerous because as you can just see, I knocked part of the tower over. So you have to be very cautious when putting the super rhino on the floor. Once the super rhino is on, then you can finish. If the super rhino is already in the building, then you have to basically uh, move him from wherever he is. So like, for example, if I play another Super Rhino card here, the next person has to take the Super Rhino from this spot and they have to place him on this spot here, which makes the tower fall. Now, the game is over when someone gets rid of all the cards in their hand. And like I said, there's different cards. Most of them are Super Rhinos. There's, some of these cards are double fours when you play that. You can put another four right on top of it. You basically get to play two fours. Some have no special ability, but it's harder to put the floors on them. So eventually, Someone's going to make the tower fall, in which case whoever has the fewest cards left in their hand is the winner. Or someone gets rid of all their cards, in which case that person is the winner. Or everyone, you build a tower up and everyone gets rid of all their cards, in which case everybody wins all together. And so that's the game. The, the tower can actually get pretty high. As you can see, I'm not very good at it, but other people might be better as you're building higher and higher. And that's how you play Super Rhino. All right, guys, what'd you think of this game? I thought it was a fun game. Not very difficult for me, unless if there's tons of wind in the room. And if you start on one card, it's really difficult, but two, you're fine. Moving the rhino isn't that hard, unless if it, it's really complicated in the cards. Well, it can be hard. Yeah, but you're right. If you start with one thing on the bottom level, that's much more difficult than two. You can also put a fan on in the room, like she said. <laughs> What do you think? Um, I like the game, how it relates to this little card tower. Except, um, like she said, once it got like up to here, and the table's like down there, um, it would get hard to try to stack it on as careful as possible. Just once my dad and Amy did, were, didn't play it fair, where they put two ones in a row like near the top. How's that not playing fair? <laughs> and I was like, I believe that was right. totally fair. Five. It fell over. Now, here's the deal with, with this game is that um, there's, first of all, I, I want to say it looks really cool. I love how when you're stacking these uh, cards, how they have every card is different and they have different windows on the outside and on the inside. So on the inside, you see different things and on the outside, and that makes the whole thing look really cool. There's one thing I don't like about the game, and that is the special cards. The one that lets you play an extra card seems way more powerful than the others, I thought. 
If you get a couple of those in your hand. <laughs> well, I had a lot of those. Yes, but, it, but it, it's still, I don't know. Those just weren't as exciting to me as that. I wish they almost all had rhinos on them because I love moving the rhino or making other people move the rhino. Um, and I like the ones that have different kinds of weird fours on them so that you have to stack the next one a little differently. So, but beautiful. These cards have, I, I like the, the, the metal imprint on the cards. The only game I know that you're allowed to bend the cards. There's, there's a few others, but yeah, you get to bend the cards in this game. But this game works really well, and I was really impressed with the amount of game that's packed in this small box. I like this one quite a bit. I'm going to recommend it. Super Rhino. Final thoughts? Approved. Approved. <laughs> Nothing but thumbs up. Alrighty, that's Rhino Hero. Dice Tower Judgment into my collection. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Oh, shut the door!